so I think I'm going to leave it like this so together with the organza and the brown bow I think that will work like this I just made it into one bow and now you see the different ones so you have also a larger one and this one and I <laughs> took this to go in this one this bow isn't attached I put that inside or oh, was it this one here yeah. I took this one <laughs> to put on in that one so this will be a present with a gift card that's really cool perhaps use something with pink I think but I just went into my stash and I couldn't find a pink ribbon but that's what I will do. I would make this into a pink uh, themed. Oh, pink. Pink Christmas themed one. So what I did for this one was I printed it off onto the back. What I now want to do is show you how I made this one and i already cut the smallest size out this one is the second size that's this size so i haven't made one with the smallest one i think let me see no this is the smallest let me see if i'm mistaken no this is you see the difference this is the middle size and I also have one that is a largest size that you will get in the kit. So this is the green kit and I also then have a pink one. And I also have the Christmas. Okay, so now I will show you how I did this. So first, this is really small, but well. First thing I did was you can also first put the things and then put it together but I first I'm going to stick these together and I'm going to use liquid glue so of course cut them out and on the dotted line you fold and then also fold on the flaps for the for the tiny flaps you fold those small tiny flaps okay so I'll fold it in and then I'll put them onto each other like this. So on this side you will have the flaps and on this side you will have the empty inside. And then because I used liquid glue I can also press out what I don't need and then see if I'm uh, really uh, on the spot that is necessary to make this a little bit even so and then press it and leave it to dry for a little bit because when you go to work with it and it's still really wet really uh, wet and then it will come apart again so now I could um, put some really uh, tiny one eighth of an inch uh, tape on uh, small tabs. These are so small but I need tape because when you use liquid glue for this and um, it is so small you can't really squeeze it together. But I will show you. I hope. It will work with this tiny one because th this one was already was a little bit of a challenge because my hands are really not that small as they look on camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so. so put on all the flaps, put double sided tape. Mm 
Now all the double-sided tape is down. Then you can really burnish it. What you also can do is uh, put it on the other side as well, but I didn't do that for the for the other one, but that you could do that. So then I will turn that around and burnish the other side. <laughs> now I get these ridges in it because I have my uh, scoring boards. Because I really wanted to sh wanted to try it out before I put it up on my Etsy, so that's why I have everything out on my desk. So now I'm pulling this apart, and then pull everything apart. But you tr you start with two flaps, then you fold it in. Fold your flap in a little bit and then pull it together. And because I didn't score it exactly right, uh, so this one isn't scored correctly and that's why they don't meet exactly. But that's not, I don't mind. And the bottom I will leave the holes like this but you can punch the holes of course and then also put some danglies and that will really look cool if it doesn't stick you put something in like this and this is really hard for me to do but I will try to show you and then the last one And this one isn't sticking really well, so I'm doing the same thing for this one. It is a little bit tricky, but really press it and then try to do it like that. So then they are, and this one is just uh, crooked. I put that on crooked, so that's why it was the way it is. Okay, and now I'm watching to see if I can find mine. No, I can't find it. So, I uh, get that uh, tape backing and try not to push on it on the meantime. In the meantime, and then fold that one in and I pull that one fully loose and then you can also squeeze it like this and then with the double sided tape it's grabbing faster so now I want to cut those holes as well And I will use this smaller punch for that. I did cut all of them. And don't worry if it's going loose like this. So the last one is the most tricky one. You could also put something skinny in like a paintbrush or this one is really too large I think. Let me get a smaller one, the end of a paintbrush, and then you will have more control to stick that. But I pulled that uh, away because it was crooked, but that's why it's coming out off again as well. So this is the way to do it. This one is also a little bit crooked, but... I'm not doing it perfect, perfectly, I also didn't, um, yeah, what you can do if you want some danglies, put it on now, so I already showed you how that uh, 
works with the dangly so I will pull two backings at the same time and then start with one side fold it in and then mm, let me see fold it in like this And when you think you're on the right spot and then push and this one I also pulled loose a little bit so I hope this will stick don't tell anyone I'm not really good at this tiny stuff <laughs> please don't tell anyone <laughs> I told you <laughs> keep it a secret <laughs> Of course, you can also use your bone folder if it's not, if you need to correct anything. So this was really sticking out and also isn't really folded uh, well on that side. So I'm just sticking it the best I can and then because this one is so small I'm using this the back of my paintbrush to stick everything as best I can and this is really off but well uh, when I'm doing this uh, without making a tutorial it's a little bit more easy to <laughs> so, so. I did make a few small mistakes uh, I see but but well when you um, keep in mind to score it correctly on the right uh, lines and not like me be far off but well it's stick it's sticking so I can use it <laughs> right oh my goodness I'm pulling everything off now so let me try liquid a little bit just perhaps what you also could use is a glue stick but then you have to wait so long you know the last one is a little bit tricky but I really recommend double sided because because now I have to wait for it to dry with my with my uh, thingy <laughs> and that will take much longer you see it's pulling off right away so I really will hold it like this for a while so and now you have the beginning of your ornament isn't that cool I really really am in love with this thing and of course you can um, yeah make it pretty with bows like this one so uh, <laughs> let me show you how far off i was with my holes with this one <laughs> and what i did with this one was just um yeah i could show you but i don't know if i'm go if it's going to work because this one is so small but i I could use also a needle and thread even that would make it really easy it's a lot a lot more easier if I knew only knew where I put it but well I'm going to try it like this thread it and then it's not coming up of course so you can guide it but usually it's sticking on my dry hand hands because I didn't put anything on my hands so I could craft because um, nothing is sticking when I'm doing this of course so yeah use a needle and thread that's what I would do so so don't do what I do but use a needle and thread because now I really couldn't make that angle and I would do it like this for now but use a needle and thread for the smallest size that is 
doesn't even go in so I will leave it uh, as it is for now <laughs> because the tutorial will really be too long but you will get my idea right so and then you can pretty it up and put bows on it and then put it up in your tree I like it already just the way it is what you also can do is uh, put a card on it or uh, use uh, small bows and also what I already showed you and now I can't find it my uh, thingy do you see it anywhere I can't see it so I will get a different one you can uh, use whatever you want of course but something with a hook a small hook uh, you have a ball ball clip hook i don't know exactly how you call that but so this is really easy because you can hook it like this clamp it oh i really did that wrong because now i uh, did it too so hard that i pulled my the whole uh, all out so i will do it a little bit more careful now oh i understand yeah what i did wrong i mean and then i will push it in a little bit more carefully now i will leave a link for these uh, clips down below if you like the idea but wow isn't that cute <laughs> i really like it so now I want something on it and let me see what I pulled because I also have this lace. This is stretchy lace. And then you can of course make it a little bit more vintage like if you if you like that look. You can make it all vintage. I really would like to see it so tag me if you are making stuff you can do that on uh, Instagram and also I have my Facebook uh, you always can um, post it on my on my Facebook as well underneath my posts about this oh that's cute but it's a little bit big we'll try to make that a little bit smaller because this is such a small ornament <laughs> let me try to yeah that's really large but that could go on top and then like this right i could also uh, uh, put that through the clip or something or i am attaching it fully and i think i'm going to do that because it's going up in my tree anyway so i think i'm going to use a different hole on the other side to make it a little bit more balanced and when your thread is going down and not up you can always um, get something and then um, Pull it right out like this you see that's really easy to do right and then I, I will make a knot already because then it couldn't slip off in the meantime when i'm doing the bow so now i'm attaching the bow and just going around it and then what I also what you also can do is already uh, stick it with double sided tape that's what I did with the other bow because it didn't stay while I was knotting it uh, while I was uh, want, wanted to uh, let stay uh, on the thingy <laughs> can't really talk so normally I wanted in the middle of the bow because now it's a little bit crooked 
let me see if I can fix that a little bit more in the middle so that it's more balanced and that will look really cute <laughs> oh my goodness I like it and then make the you can um, make this into also where you can hang it so that's really easy also let me do that differently oh that's fireworks all oh, the young children are because it's a sunny day so they're all outside and my doggy really hates fireworks i think all doggies don't like it because they hear it so loud so i don't like it <laughs> It's the only reason I don't like it because my doggy is so gets so nervous about that firework sound. Okay, so now it's a little bit more in the middle. Oh, look at that! I really like it. <laughs> That's so cute, and of course you can uh, also decorate it. Before uh, this is uh, old uh, crocheted but I'm saving it for something special even this is special but you can uh, stick stuff down stickers put stickers on it something like that and put uh, as I said a card on it with the name for someone or something I don't know I'm just giving you Idea. So this is the second uh, size, as you can see, and this is the largest size with this paper. So I used uh, recycled cardstock for this. Isn't that cute? I really like this stuff. So uh, what I want to show you is the... Yeah, my dog is really... I really want to help my doggy because she's so afraid of that sound. I want to show you how to how I cut that with pain in my heart, but I will print it out many times. This is really my favorite for now from Tonya Samuels. I will put it up on screen and I will put the link down below for her Etsy shop to this link. To, uh, the link to this I mean so now we have all these I put some organza with it and then now use this thingy to be a hoop hook for so that I can uh, put it up in the tree right <laughs> oh, that's so cute and also you can um put some danglies on the bottom so that's also something i want to do if i make something different that i didn't show i will um, leave some pictures at the end i think i'm going to split these videos up this is really long getting so long and with pain in my heart i'm going to cut into tonya's paper now but uh, with the idea that I can print it out whenever I want and as many times as I want so <laughs> and that's my uh, yeah that's why I'm doing what I'm doing now so first I'm cutting them apart the three separate sizes and the other one Hmm, I think I'm cutting this one too short. Yeah, I'm positive I cut this. That one. Did I cut something off? I don't see it. Hmm. I think I'm... I'm good. <laughs> I thought I cut something off that shouldn't. So, uh, yeah, I showed you with this one. <clears throat> what you can make this is the pink one oh, this one I should also put a knot into so that it doesn't 
move by the way perhaps over here let me try that so that it doesn't move or slip off and then you don't have to watch out for that but yeah something like this so this is now a little bit better secured and i could do it at the end as well so like this and then you also can use that knot or something no now it's too short but well i think i'm going to put a dangly onto this and then this is now well just about <laughs> but what i want to say was yeah i already showed you this one this is also tonya's uh, paper but i wanted to show you how i cut it out so so this is the pink one i will cut one out and then show you the things that i did so what you can do is you can i'm making shadow for myself so that makes it a little bit hard to see i'm off also uh, what i do is um, i'm cutting this for the flap off like this that leaves me this corner only to cut off like this so that is really uh, an easy way to do the corners so cut it off like this and i'm off but i'm i want to show you a good way to do it then go like this cut this off you could also go all around and then do all the corners doesn't really matter but like this and then I will clean it up a little bit you could also leave them a little bit larger if that's easier for you but that's you won't see it if you have pretty paper that you want to use like me you won't see these lines only if you want to use this side then it will be more um, yeah better to use uh, to do it a little bit more elaborate so now i have this image <laughs> on the back and i did put my scoring board wrong here in the corner because now we cut that off you can still see the line if you make lines you can be more accurate for your scoring and then you can do this one if you want but because of this flap it is a little bit hard to see the shoe so what you also can do and i'm really off with my scoring oh my goodness so score all the flaps you see i can't really see now it's really out there that i'm visibly impaired and it's not a joke by the way i would never joke about something like that <clears throat> this could also score all the flaps first <laughs> i didn't even cut that oh my goodness i'm really off now <laughs> i'm just laughing at myself right why not so if you want to be more accurate you could fold this back and then if you have black lines on the scoring board like me you could also use a ruler of course so this oh the inside square also has to be uh, scored 
put it inside inward so you can really score straight and then fold this one I have to do so you can't see it when this is not fold so that's why and I just will do it now and then hold this straight straight as possible then fold it the more accurate you do this the better it will fit onto each other of course that's logic <laughs> This, I will make it a little bit neater because I really did not do that. And now I'm, I don't like it <laughs> because I'm working with Tonya's paper, so better get it right then. like that mm, still on where is it still on why uh, this is now really off but well my scissors are not that sharp now i'm way off over here so i have to you see <laughs> here and there I'm going to straighten that a little bit so that it fits when I close everything up a little bit better. Like this. And then I like this. You also can use this for a small um a small uh, envelope of course or make a small box a gift box a small gift box and put some candy in it for instance that's also a good idea i'm giving you all sorts of ideas over here the other way around it's this is really also off i also have a shadow <laughs> when i cut i can't see the lines anymore so i will have to change that now i want to ink it and of course this will be ornaments because i want it in my tree so i want a little bit of pink ornaments in my tree and i like it with the ink if you don't like it you can also use of course a more pink or red i also have red ink but well I like this together with uh, vintage paper that's one of my favorites so now you can cut the holes if you want to close it up like this or close it up like this it's all up to you and then of course I don't like it that this isn't shown but I also can uh, instead of make a double make one and then hang it up in the tree if you like that let me know but i don't know i think i i would prefer a double one so i'm going to cut this out and ink it up and do the same thing what i did with this one and then do it a little bit more accurate oh i will get a rose with this one <laughs> and uh, white is because i printed it out onto a4 and this is an eight and a half by 11 um, 
get so that is why so I will be right back so I did put tape also on the small tabs and uh, put on some extra glasses to see and also I made the holes this is without my extra glasses and this is with a little bit better and the scoring went a lot better when I could see what I was doing so now I want to think about it because what you also can do is twist it like this and I don't know if that is cool but if it looks off or but I was thinking while I was off camera if I should do this or this and how will that look when you do it like this will that look cool as well but I think I'm going to do them straight because I really like it uh, the only thing I don't like that I'm losing these images but well <laughs> all for the good cause of making an ornament and you see enough of the paper to enjoy it and that's how I am making it right <laughs> in my head so let's place them straight on but do experiment if I'm giving you an idea try it out but yeah i know there are boxes that you can fold like that but they are like a sort of a snake you see them whoop, fan out that's what i was, was thinking about the other day that really um came uh closest to this uh, my idea but well it's okay my idea doesn't really matter so but i'm really happy with this that's not it <laughs> by the way i like it and i love tonya's paper so okay let me try to close the flaps and i already punched the hole so i have cut this one wrong so let me try and also folded it wrong so let me try to put that together first because it's already folded wrong and now i can reach it the first one is the easiest to reach right so and this is a uh, easier to do it like this so first pull off the uh, backing and then push it where you want it to be and i already like it because i love this page <laughs> so much so i think i'm going to use it for something for a different project well i know i'm going to use it for a different project because i already love it so much so let me find a different one because i can't seem to see where i put the other thingy oh yeah this i had i saved this label a small label and it's also uh 175 one euro and 75 cents so that was really expensive not <laughs> so it already stuck i don't even know which one i did so it stuck really well i also burnished uh, really well so that will certainly help this is the most tricky one the last one because it's outside of course and then you have to push it in a little bit like that try to 
push it in place already and then squeeze it a little bit together and then with the back of your pencil make sure it's like this okay let's do the other side of course you can use the pink side or use really pink paper or use even glitter paper if you like that for christmas <laughs> what do you think about that one and then make glitter ornaments whoa there's an idea <laughs> try that one i would love to see it <laughs> show me a picture please on my facebook or instagram whichever if you're trying these so and this one these really here i did two holes even <laughs> got impatient probably this one really i can't push so that's why this handy dandy paintbrush is coming into place and the very last last one is the most tricky one so i'm just pushing it in and then try to get the backing and then squeeze it a little bit at the same time and stick so even if i'm a little off that's really okay because it is beautiful Tonya, look at this your paper is now your design and here it's really off by the way but let's not look at that let's make this the bottom <laughs> the ugliest one <laughs> that my that's my fault so see how beautiful that is and normally when you sc score everything correctly and this will be straight <laughs> so or uh, I, and i also glued it a little bit crooked see so that's also but i like it it doesn't matter to me it doesn't really matter so okay let's just uh, get this green one just to oh this is of course far too large i couldn't really use that I also found this dangly uh, thingy that's also really cute to do so uh, make a hole you can also uh, poke a hole uh, right th uh, through the bottoms and then put a dangly and lower the dangly through the hole and then you have a dangly coming out of the hole so that's that's doable because you can also do that with the holes of course but yeah i'm full of ideas always so <laughs> i'm sharing everything i have for the moment so it would look in the tree a little bit like this isn't that cute oh i really love it yeah so the uh, the idea for the hole in the middle i already thought about something like that yesterday so so now you know how you can make this ornament gift box or envelope and different ornaments so i would really appreciate it if you would let me know what you think and of course i forgot the most pretty one because i left it there this is for on top so i uh, was saving this one for a special thing so this will get on top wow i like it and this has silver and pink and this has silver and pink so it's really uh yeah a match made in heaven <laughs> so okay that's enough <laughs> well let me know what you think and i will see you in, uh, i hope to see you in my next video and if you make some of these ornaments but then straight and with glitter paper or with your favorite paper please let me know and you can post it underneath 
underneath my posts or tag me when you're on Instagram so let me know and I will really look up your post and also share your post I really would love it and let me know what you think okay I said that already okay I also had some magnets but I didn't even use them <laughs> small magnets for the envelope I forgot all about it but that's also a possibility but well when, when I have another video left in me I will make another one so <laughs> with the magnets so okay I will see you in my next video and uh, thank you so much for watching bye bye doi, 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 doi. Merry Christmas Happy New Year doi.